thinking of moving to Alabama, let's go over a quick pro-con list of living in this truly amazing southern state. And it would be awesome if you could hit the like and subscribe button if you find these type of videos valuable. So reasons to consider Alabama. Uh, mild winters. We're technically in winter right now. The average yearly temp is 65 degrees. Low cost of living. The average property taxes are around $675 for the year with rental prices at $950. The state is not overcrowded and what that means is Alabama ranked 25 out of 50 in population density. There's also low traffic. Commute times are anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes from really work to house or from one side of town to the next. So the cost of living is low, but the housing prices are also low. Alabama's average home price is around $255,000. We also have some great colleges. UAB, Samford, University of Alabama, Auburn University are all ranked nationally as best colleges. There's some incredible golf courses here too. Alabama lays claim to the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail and has 26 spectacular courses to play. And beyond the Robert Trent Jones Trail, there's also many more places to stay and play golf. Here are a couple reasons to maybe reconsider moving here. We have severe weather. Tornadoes are a common place and the threat really runs from November all the way through April. We also have high humidity, which means some hot, sticky days, and in the winter months, it gets really cold. The average humidity is around 72%. Honestly, in the summertime, we probably wouldn't be doing this video outside at all. <laughs> the pollen levels are high. We have a mild winter, and that creates a harsher, longer allergy season, lasting just about the whole year. So you might see some relief in December. Merry Christmas. Also, the bugs. We certainly have them. Again, that mild winter, they really don't die off. So you make sure you get a termite bond on your house and you make sure that you start spraying for wasps as early as February. And lastly, we have alcohol restrictions. Out of the 67 counties in the state, there are 23 of them that you can't buy a drop of alcohol in. They're considered dry counties. I hope you found this information valuable. And if you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comments below. If you're thinking about buying or selling or moving here to Alabama, our team would love to be your real estate agents of choice. Our contact info is in the description below.